the sixth Adiphon. O King of Nations, come. Psalm 65. Praise is due to you, O God in Zion, and to you shall vows be performed. O you who answer prayer, to you all flesh shall come. Amen. chapter 28, verses 16 and 17. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, See, I am laying in Zion a foundation stone, a tested stone, a precious stone, a sure foundation, one who trusts will not panic. And I will make justice the lie and righteousness the plummet. Hail will sweep away the refuge of lies and waters will overwhelm the shelter of falsehood. Amen. In our epistle reading, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 17 through 22. So he came and proclaimed peace to you who were far off, and peace to those who were near. For through him both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. In him the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord in whom you also are built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. Our Gospel reading, Matthew chapter 21, verses 33 through 42. Listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard and put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. 
Then he leased it to the tenants and went to another country. When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another, and stoned another. Again, he sent other slaves more than the first, and they, they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and get his inheritance. So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. Now when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, He will put those wretches in a miserable death and lease the vineyard to another to other tenants who will give him the produce at the harvest time. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. As we have heard these scripture passages, now we'll have a moment of silence as we reflect on God's word. Amen. together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now our concluding prayer. Let us pray. Lord God, 
fill our hearts with hope and our minds with welcome for your restoring grace so that our actions will be pleasing to you. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus through your Holy Spirit. Amen.